I'm going to show you how I make mini meatloafs. And I'm making these so I can put them in the freezer. And the reason why I'm making these, not only just for my grandkids, they're wonderful when you need a quick meal and you're real busy, but mainly the reason why I'm making these and doing a mini style and freezing them is because I will be sending these out with my husband when he goes out over the road to drive. And he's usually gone for about 11 days or so. So he's got a little refrigerator in his truck with a little freezer so I can pack these things in his freezer and he can just take it out, whatever he wants to eat, and however he wants to eat it. So, with that being said, let's get going on the mini meatloafs. Okay, so with this here, I've got one pound of burger, and it's really lean burger. It's like 90-10. And I also got a pound of pork sausage. So in there, I'm making this just like I always make my meatloaf. I'm going to put a package of onion soup mix in there. I'm going to put an egg in there. And I'm going to put my package of, now you can use breadcrumbs if you want, but I, I like the uh, stuffing mixes in here. That way you don't have to add too much more in there because it's already all nice flavor. I'm also going to add about a quarter cup of milk into that. Okay, so now the only way to get in there and get this mixed up really good is put a pair of gloves on and get in there with your hands. That's what we're going to do. Okay, there we go. I'm going to mix it up really good. I don't need to add any salt. I might add a little extra pepper to this, but the uh, stuffing mix is seasoned and then I got the onion soup mix in there so it's gonna be seasoned pretty good for them now you can make this up just this way and put it in your freezer you don't even have to brown it or cook it or anything you can just put it in your freezer and use it for a freezer meal for a later date but with this one, I'm going to bake these. So my oven's preheating to 400 degrees because I'm going to bake these off and then I'm going to freeze them so that they are ready meals for him. And this is so much healthier than, you know, hitting a truck stop for a greasy burger and fries or, you know, fast food. At least he's got something from home, a home cooked meal. And I got a lot of tr tricks for making meals out on the road because, of course, I drove semi for so many years myself. And I would do the same thing. I had pretty healthy meals out there. Okay, well, we got this mixed up pretty darn good. All right, so with that, let me take my gloves off. Get my nice big scooper out here. I'm not sure if this scooper is going to work on this because it's a pretty good size. I've got my little muffin tin here. I got my pan oiled up. That might be too much. You know what? I don't think that's going to work. No, that's not going to work too well. I'll just use it to scoop it out. And I'll push them down. There we go. I'm going to have to take some of that off. That just might be a little too much because I want to put a little sauce on them. down a little bit these are good when you take them like this as well as you can stuff them with a little cheese or even stuff a little mashed potatoes in them but my hubby likes more than just that little bit of mashed potatoes so them all in there real 
gun. Okay. These ones, let me take a little more out of here. These ones for my husband, I'm going to put a little barbecue sauce on them because that's how he likes them. So I'm going to make a little divot in the middle there. Okay, I had to wash my hands and grab my barbecue sauce. I'll put just a little bit right in the middle. And that'll hold it in place for him. He is going to have a microwave in his truck, so that's how he's going to have to um, heat him back up is his microwave, of course. Otherwise, I would just put pop these, you thaw them out and pop them in the oven. But anyway, these are going to go in a 400 degree oven for about 40 minutes or so until they're completely done. And when they're done, I'll bring you back and show you how nice they are and how I freeze them. Okay, friends, these are all done. Oh, and they turned out so nice. Look at them. Absolutely nice. Anyway, we're going to put them on my tray because I'm going to flash freeze them. So, they come out really easy. They look really nice. They turn out wonderful. I don't need to spray my pan or line it or anything because they just, they come right off it. They don't stick to it. You can line it with a little parchment paper if you want or a little wax paper. It doesn't matter. But they, they don't stick to my pan. I'm just going to set them all on here just like so. Put this down in my... Okay, I got them all in a tray. They're going to go in the freezer. I'm going to flash freeze them. I'm going to leave them in there for about an hour. And then I'm, I'll show you. After they come out, I'll show you how I package them up. And they're all ready for the freezer. So when they're all froze, I'll be back. Okay, friends. These are totally solid. And I had the three little extra ones. So I just froze them all together. But all I do with these is see they come up pretty easy. And I just put them in. I got a big, nice, heavy-duty plastic bag here. They come right off my tray. Just give them a little lift. I put them in this bag. I just leave them just like this because nothing they're not sticky. Nothing's going to stick together. They're froze solid. And I leave them right in this bag. And then I can send this bag with my husband, let me set this aside, I can zip this up, let's see, now, I can just label this for my hubby, I can put this in his little freezer, in his truck, in his semi, and then I got another bag like this, because you all seen how I did my mashed potatoes, I do those in serving sizes, so I can put this in the mashed potatoes and, you know, some uh, veggies that he can steam in the microwave, because it's the only way he's got to reheat this is his microwave, and that's okay. You know, it's better than, it's still better than the, the greasy, unhealthy truck stop food. So he's going to love this. He's got love from home going out on the road with him. And I'm going to show you, I do all kinds of stuff like this for uh, when we used to drive our semi. So each time I do this, I'll show you, because I'm sure there's quite a few of you out there that, you know, have a hubby that drives or you yourself drive. So I'll show you some neat tips and tricks for keeping your, your, yourself healthy while you're on the road, because it's a hard thing to do. So there you have it, friends. I'm going to label these, put these back in the freezer, and these are going with my hubby when he comes home and the next time he goes out. Thanks for watching.